Have you ever trained scanning the pitch before you get the ball? People got, got their hit it. No cap. I saw this video on YouTube where they analyzed how many times you actually scan the pitch yeah. in a match. And it's a lot. I don't know if you're aware. To be honest, I'm not aware. I saw this video as well. <laughs> yeah, okay. And I was uh, yeah, a little surprised uh, when I see the clips, how many times I look, because I don't think about it in the game. It just comes natural for me. So yeah, uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't aware of, of me looking so much. So, but it was cool to see. Have you ever trained scanning the pitch before you get the ball? Yeah, I've trained this since I was a little kid. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, with my dad, he was a footballer. So when I was young, we were just playing him and me, maybe my brother. We got someone to be in the back, you know, to defend, and then he passed me the ball and I had to look where the defender was and then turn the other way, you know? Right. So I did this from a young age and then basically every time we had the passing drill or uh, something in training, I was always looking around to, to, getting, to get used to it. So basically you've just ingrained it into your mind yeah, yeah. from the very beginning? Yeah. Okay. So what would you say, you're out there, you know, 80,000 people in a stadium screaming, lots of things going on, right? Highest pace of the game. You see the ball coming to you. And this is where, this is where it really like sets the best pros apart from everyone else, is that when the ball is coming to you, you can tell on TV that while the ball is traveling, you're looking. Sometimes once, sometimes even twice. Looking forward, looking behind you, get the ball, and then you have you know exactly what's going on. So what goes through your mind as the ball is coming to you, <laughs> if anything? <laughs> I'm really like in the zone, but it's not about just the last ball. It's about the whole game, you know. So I'm not looking just one time before I get the ball. I look a lot of times before. Maybe the ball is there. I look, then the ball gets here, and I look again, you know. So I look all the time. So the last one I do is just a really quick one to see the last step of the defender right. or the last step of the striker to see where he goes, you know, the, the last little detail. Yeah. I think because I'm looking so much, I have a pretty clear picture when the ball gets closed and then I just do a small one, maybe one or two, to, to get the last information. Do you feel like when you don't look, that it's more difficult for you? I feel a bit naked, you know, yeah. if okay. you don't look. Sometimes, sometimes you have like situations where you don't have time to look because the ball comes very quick uh -huh. or, or you move a bit weird, something like that. And sometimes you have like a feeling Okay, he's there, mm. and you go the other way. Yeah, but it's it's a bit more risky to do it then. So. Right, right. So. Maybe that's the reason when I sometimes turn in the game that I run straight into defenders. Yeah, it can be, it can be. Okay, <laughs> we got we got the reason here. But but for all the the, the young up and coming players out there who, who wants to learn from you, do you think there's like a a right time? Obviously, when you're not on the ball, you just run around, you look all the time. But is there a right time and a wrong time to scan? I think the key thing is to get as much information as possible. You know, so. Um, I didn't think too much about this, but it, this came natural to me. But I, but I understood when I watched videos and clips and from thinking myself as well that when people are touching the ball, you should look at the ball because yeah. you don't know what's going on. And when the ball is moving, you can look away, you know, like when the ball is on the way, you know it's going to come, so yeah. you can look away. But when someone is driving the ball and they touch it, then you should look at the ball to know what direction they go or, yeah. That makes a lot of sense because exactly. things can change yeah. if you look away. Exactly. And when the ball is moving, well, it's gonna move yeah. unless someone. If you know it's a... coming to you. Know it's coming. Exactly. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Common well, sense. I, yeah, you would think that, right? But I think to uh, to me, I didn't think that much about it, and also I guess to a lot of players, this is something you need to start doing when you're kids, just like Martin, basically. Is is that like just just do drills? So basically, if, if we do like a, a, a short drill, I just have you behind me, what would you do? So you just, just do it like this. Yeah. So I did it now, even without thinking about it, you know? <laughs> so, but normally, yeah, if you are there, yeah, yeah. I would look before. Uh -huh. So I know already that just, you are there. Just wait and then we're gonna get the pass. So I will know that you're there now. Uh -huh. And then when the ball is there, I see you go there, so I go here. That, that's a quick little look. They just boop, and you could see me. It's just a small one. And this guy. This guy. Yeah. So, so, so basically, just to wrap it up, start early, guys, and then also just think about there's a good time and there's a bad time to scan. Good time when the ball is moving. I time. think if you're not used to this also, you can, instead of looking like 10 times like this, uh -huh. you won't get any information and it's better to look one time properly. This video is sponsored by Evo Bash's Rebounder Board. You need to go on the wall, take the ball, right, left, right, left, and you can miss. And you can stay there for an half an hour, right and left, right and left. But you need to train. And doesn't matter if the people will say, why are you training against the wall? Why are you doing this? Why are you a professional player? doesn't matter. You will be better if you're doing this. doesn't matter if you have 16, 25, 30 or 40. doesn't matter. Every time improve and be better. Then five times without seeing anything. So start, start slow and do it easy and then you get better.
Guys, this is why he's the best. I don't support your team, I'll be honest, but I've, and I've been sat there thinking, I, I am so sick of this guy. <laughs> he just keeps splitting defenses, and how does he do it? Well, now I understand. Uh, Martin, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge. Pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very Good much. luck. Thank you. Um, let's do this again in the future, it's been fun. Yeah. I want you to know there is no limit to your potential. I honestly want you to believe that you can achieve anything you set your mind to. For those of you guys who have been watching my channel, especially when it comes to football, when it dives into the deep knowledge of working on your game, my training videos, my mentorship, I love this game so much. Having traveled all around the world, Europe, America, Australia, Africa, doing what I love, having played for Portland Timbers and played with my national team, I really love this game. Right now, as we speak, I am on my football journey. Having experienced so many different cultures and different things, I want to be able to share my experience with you. I believe that everyone has a golden ball of greatness within them. You can achieve your biggest dreams. Don't listen to anyone else. Don't let outside influences dictate how you feel inside. You can honestly be the best footballer you can be. And that's what I want to help cultivate. I want to help cultivate that belief within yourself. You see, the people who are watching this video, I want you to be obsessed. If you are not obsessed, if you are not so entangled with improving, with the process, with getting better, working on your physical ability, working on your first touch, working on the intricacies of the game, then stop watching this video. I'm only here for the people who truly want to improve. And the fact that you're watching this, I know that. I know you have the biggest dreams, you have that vision, and that vision, it really is a reality. I wanna help you cultivate that vision every single day. You see, a lot of people think just playing football is about what you do on the field, but it's much deeper than that. It goes off the field, it goes with the mentality, with cultivating a mindset that's knowledgeable, reading books, meditating, doing the inner spiritual practices of becoming the best footballers you can be. I honestly believe all the great footballers you see, they have a routine, they have a way to get into flow, which helps them perform the best on the field. You see, it all starts with the mind. So what you can do today is you can book a call with me. Yes, you can book a call with me, we can have a chat for free where we talk about the game, we talk about what your routine is, how are you working on your game? How are you mentally focusing it and working on the finer improvements, the intricacies, your awareness, your reading, becoming the best player at training and really cultivating that greatness that you have inside of you. You honestly have a ball of greatness. You can do it. I honestly believe in you. This journey, it can be challenging. Being a footballer is not easy. You see, football is just a medium. It's just a way for you to express your consciousness, to express your greatness. And you can really use football to change your life. It is all about the process of who you're becoming. So I want you to be the best footballer you can be. And I want to help cultivate that. I will help cultivate that. As you can also watch me realize my biggest dreams. I am documenting this journey and I'm going to show you physically how I'm gonna realize my biggest dreams because we're on this journey together. We're all connected. I'm so proud of you. If you wanna sign up for your one-on-one -on -one call with me, hit the link in the description. It's gonna take you with your link and you'll be able to book a call with me and we can have a chat, we can talk, we can discover our routine and discover ways for you to really cultivate the greatness that you have with it. I believe in you and I'm proud of you and let's realize our dreams. Good luck. One thing all the best footballers have is the innate desire and obsession to become better, to be absolutely obsessed with your game. Now, I am part of something special and I want you to be a part of it too. This video is brought to you by Be Your Best Pro. Now, I am part of a nine week training program that helped the German under 17 team win the European Championship and it's to do with the most important tool your mind. You will be introduced to things like meditation and visualization. Something that helped me a lot is meditation outside the pitch. You just kind of let go on the negative thoughts. I'm always trying to like, visualize the game, try to, to score like mini goals like that in my head. In the moment it comes natural. Improving the cognitive abilities, the most important tool you use to play your game, to be at the most optimal level, is of the utmost importance. As I'm heading into my preseason and getting the best out of my ability, I am part of this nine week training program that will constantly keep me on my toes when it comes to my scanning, checking my shoulders, seeing what's around me, being able to use Be Your Best Simulator before training, after training, and even during training to take my game to further levels. 
You see, I want to be different to everyone else. I want to set myself apart from everyone because I believe in myself. And if you believe in yourself and want to take your game to the next level, make sure you head over to BeYourBestPro.com. All you need is a VR headset. Once you have that, get a Be Your Best subscription, the link in the description, and start your nine-week training program right away. Thank you.